Welcome to your brand new Edgewong trading journal. In this video, we show you how to get started within a few minutes. So the first time you log into your Edgewong trading journal, it's going to look something like this. You have not created any journals yet and there's no data in it, but we can change that very quickly. First, we click on the add journal button. This brings us this pop up. And the first thing we need to do is we have to name our new journal. You can name it after your broker, after your trading account, or give it any other name that makes it easier for you to identify it later on. Then we choose the account currency. This is the currency in your trading platform in your broker account. You can choose it from the drop down list or just search it here in the first row. Next, we choose the markets that we are trading in our broker account and that we want to journal in Edgewonk. We can also select multiple here from this list. Let's assume we want to trade Forex and also stocks in this account. Then we have to enter the first deposit. This is our starting account balance in Edgewonk. We have to select a deposit date. And assuming we want to start journaling our trades in Edgewonk from March 1st, then our deposit date should be set one day before that. And now you have a brand new MT trading journal, but we can change that very quickly. You can now import your trades or add them manually. You can do that through the journal, but there's also a button here at the bottom left. When you click the button on the right side, it brings us the import trade interface. And here you can import all of your trades within a few seconds. First, we have to choose the importer type. This is the trading platform or the broker that you're using. You can choose here from the list, but we can also just search it here in the first row. And let's assume we want to trade MetaTrader. For MetaTrader 4 and 5, we also have the feature of automated syncing, which brings in your trades in real time. But let's assume we want to use our statement import, which we offer for all of our trading platforms. Then we need to choose the setup. The setup will be applied to all of the trades that you're importing. And finally, you drop your statement file here and all of your trades will be imported within seconds. If you don't know how to get the correct statement file, click on the blue link here. This will bring out our FAQ and it walks you through the steps to get the right import statement type for your platform. If your trading platform is not supported, you can also add your trade manually. For that, we click on the left part of this button and this brings up our trade pop-up. And here you can fill out all of your trade data manually. When was the trade taken? What was the instrument, the setup? Is it a buy or a sell, which in Edgewonk means it's a long or a short. And then you have your, all of your input fields for entry and exit data price. Once you have imported your trades or added your trades manually, your Edgewonk trading journal will fill with life and you will see all of the data in your journal. One important thing to note is that you can apply the filters to all of the tabs in Edgewonk. So here at the top, we find our filter set and you can filter for specific instruments, setups, you can filter for outcomes, you can filter for the last trades, you can filter by specific time of the year or specific periods as well. By the way, here's also our switch for our light and our dark mode. In the journal, you will see a list of all of your trades that you have entered or imported. We can also bring up individual trades and add and change the details about it. So by clicking the trade, it brings up the interface here you can change and amend all of the details. You can add personal loads. And here are the ways you can customize the trade. You can enter your trade comments to describe your entry, your exit, and your trade management. We will come back to the custom statistics and all of the details in later videos. You can also assign up to six screenshots per trade. You can either add a file from your computer directly to the trade, or you can paste a trading view link here, and then we will process this automatically. You can access all of the trade screenshots that you've entered by going to reports and then go to chart book. And this will bring you a list with all of the trades and assigned screenshots. And then you can view all of your screenshots. Here on the top right, you find a list with all of your created journals. So currently we are in this journal, but we have a few other ones. You can create new journals here. You can also copy existing journals and create a complete clone. In other videos, we will later go through all of the analytics in Edgewonk and you will have plenty of opportunities to analyze the different aspects of your trading journal with Edgewonk. Under settings, that's where you can change the settings of your Edgewonk. You can customize it. You can change the name here. You can change your account currency, the markets. You can enter new deposits here as well. You have a list with all of your traded instruments that you have used and imported. You can create new setups that you're trading and then later assign them to your trades. And we will come back to the trade comments and the custom statistics in later videos. Now you're ready to start journaling and use the Edgewong trading platform.